Yuri Sechan. You just made your comeback a few days ago, and you're already appearing solo on TV. Well, thanks to you guys. The festival was a huge deal all over the place. I'm still traumatized by that killer handoff. Yeah. We caught it on TV, and we looked like deer in headlights. Mizu Chimizu was impressive, though. She smoothed over that huge mess all by herself. Then again, I guess that's because no one in the audience remembered anything about what happened. I heard it was rather forced, though. They say she received a stern warning from the police. Then again, getting off that lightly is something of a miracle in itself. I saw it, too. She played off the disappearances and everything is being staged. No matter how anyone protested, she kept writing it off as technical malfunctions or promotional stunts. And people still bought that? After everything that happened? Jeez, the Empress has some pretty scary clout. That reminds me, are you okay, you? You know, about Dojima-san and Nanako-chan and stuff. I got a pretty severe grilling. Sounded like Dojima-san worked with Konami-san and left no stone unturned looking for us. He didn't press for more details because Mizo Chimizu convinced him it was all fine. But who knows what he really thought. Nanako thinks that everything was just special stage effects. I have something to report as well, regarding the mass lethargy syndrome. It seems all of its victims are already recovering, though none of them seem to remember anything about the experience. Huh? What's this mass lethargy syndrome about? It's referring to those shadows that were present in the midnight stage. As we thought, the shadows in that world were all of those people who watched the video on the LMB website. Hey, Naoto-kun, has no one come down with mass lethargy syndrome since then? Not even one case? There hasn't been a single incident since that day, from what I can find. The doctors seem confused as well. In the end, they concluded that mass hysteria-induced stress was the cause. So that Makara Tanda no Kami really has laid low since then. Yeah, which must mean that our feelings did get through to it. So the case is over. I think that's safe to say. All that's left is for Risei-chan's comeback to go well, and we're golden! Yeah, you're right. What's wrong, Risei? Uh, I have to tell you guys. It's nothing serious, but hear me out. Remember how we talked about the conditions for falling into the midnight stage? You mean what Mikura Tana no Kami said about how people had to sympathize with that fake bond? I think I may have thought like that too. The thing is, I don't think it was just the shadows bound by ribbons that fit those criteria. I think the Konami and Kitchen Girls and Miso Chimizu fit it too. They also must have been suffering from the gap between what everyone wanted them to be versus who they truly are. You know, that's probably true. Yeah. That's why I thought hard about if I was like that, too. Oh! And? I think I was. When we were rescuing the girls, or Miso Chimizu, I always talked big. But thinking about it, maybe I kept blowing up at Miso Chimizu because I was jealous of Konamine Kitchen. Jealous? You? Yeah. When I decided to make my showbiz comeback, and I asked you to appear with me at the festival, I think it was because part of me was scared to do it alone. I knew how talented Miss Ochimizu was as a producer, and she was with Konamine Kitchen. That's why I thought it might have actually been my fault that they got dragged into this. I'm so sorry! I was wondering what you just had to get off your chest. And that's it? Come on, don't be stupid. Hey, did you just call it stupid? It took a lot of courage to say that, you know. Well, you heard her, Yukun. What should we do? I see. That's a very serious failing. Huh? Yep, totally unforgivable. As punishment, you must buy me a beef bowl. What? Uh, come on, I'm being serious. Like you said, no one cares who dragged who in. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's because of that that we were able to solve the case, right? This is true. If Risei-san hadn't been caught up in this, we would have never learned of the problem at all. In that respect, we could say it's thanks to her good work that we saved the victims. Huh? I is that even allowed? Why are you guys thanking me instead of yelling at me? If there is an incident in which someone is suffering, and we are able to solve it ourselves, then no one here can complain. That's right. We're all friends, and all part of the investigation team. Oh, you guys! If I cry now, it'll mess up my makeup! 
Excuse us. We're done with the opening act and the introduction. We made sure to warm up the crowd a little too much. That's an understatement. Earning a standing ovation with just the opening act. What are you going to do if that affects the main attraction? Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> this lady never changes, huh? She's more confusing because she's actually a softy inside. This is a gift for everyone. You guys just have to have some. Is this... Could it be a meal personally cooked by an idol? Come on, there's no way. I did make it, though. It's nothing much since I threw it together this morning. No way? Seriously? Am I looking at a Kanamin home-cooked meal? Uh, okay, Yosuke, calm down. This girl cooked it. There's no way it's going to be anything more than Mystery Food X idol recipe. I'm getting bad cooking flashbacks. Except for the cake that Naoto helped bake. Yosuke, did you say something? No, nothing. Jeez, Konami took the time to make this, so you guys better eat it. I can't have too much because my performance is coming up. Did you make all this, Konami? I sure did! It might look plain, but I put a lot of love into it! Wow, it looks so good! Hey, may I try it? Of course! Dig right in! Uh... Ha. Hmm. What? Wow! This is incredible! Oh, man, what a time to be alive! Huh? It, it's that good? Uh... <laughs> This is some good shit. Ain't nothing like a girl can cook. Huh? It, it's just an ordinary dish, though. Nothing unusual. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. I wonder if she uses some secret seasoning. Damn it. There's no winning this fight. Rize-chan? I don't think Konami-chan needs help pulling herself together anymore. What? N no, but... Uh, maybe you're right. <laughs> Rise-san, you're up! Oh, yes! I'll be right... Well, then, I'll see you all later. Okay. Good luck out there! Wait! I can't go out yet! I almost forgot! <laughs> oh. huh? It's thanks to all of you that I can be here to sing today. I always have my bonds with people to support me. I mean, everyone does. They just don't notice. That's why I won't be going out on stage alone today either. Stop us from trying. <laughs> okay, All right. join us. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then shall we do our usual? Uh, we're saying we are, right? Mm -hmm. Well then, everyone, here goes. For our fans, for our friends, for ourselves. This is a one-time only performance. Now who's ready? Welcome back. Or rather, 
Welcome to the Velvet Room. That marks the end of the story of their festival. Well, did you enjoy it? People are clumsy beings, no? They know that interacting with others can be painful and can bring suffering. Yet without that connection with others, they cannot move onward. Hmm. Is that the reason? Those children who once averted their eyes, even from themselves, overcame countless ordeals and matured. They have grown into people who can convey their experiences to the ones they meet, guiding them along. <laughs> what a truly delightful tale. Watching them makes me begin to think that this may be the truth behind your lives. By interacting with others, you learn. Your hearts swell and then you convey what you've learned to those after you. If that is the truth behind your lives, then I think I can understand a little of why you came here. Oh, but I digress. Now, go on. I've told you about him, and with what you've learned, I'm certain that you'll be able to convey this tale to another. Yes, just as he did. Ah, uh, one more thing. There is no need to worry about them. As I said before, their journey will never end. Just as they guide others along, they will also experience those encounters themselves. Well then, may we meet again somewhere, someday. <laughs> That's well, then.
Hold on to your hats, dear viewers, because we've got a surprise for you. Presenting a new line of must-buy items. The price is certainly right, too, but we don't have very many of these, so don't blame us if they sell out before you can pick up a phone. Now then, let's have a look. The orders are pouring in! Those who managed to snag it have my congratulations! Ah, welcome to the Velvet Room. Or perhaps I should say, welcome back. You look rather perplexed. <laughs> Never you mind. Expressing one's feelings through music. It looks as though it could be fun. Perhaps I should give it a try next time. <laughs> now, go on. May we meet again somewhere, someday. <laughs> Thank you.